Well, hello there, everybody. How are you doing? Seriously, I want to know. Before you even watch this video, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing today. Uh, I am doing pretty well. I'm excited because I get to play some Roots of Pacha and uh, do a video for you guys. I've played this game a little bit already. Um, I don't know how many hours, but I've, I've definitely put in a bit of time. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to turn this into... A series of some of the playthrough and I won't be editing or anything um, I'll just do a few game days um, and they'll be the goal is for them to be a little bit shorter than kind of the normal videos um, aiming probably around half an hour or so for these uh, which should be a couple of in-game days uh, so Roots of Pacha is as you can see on the screen it's in alpha stage development um, it is pre-release there's there's nothing released yet I was lucky enough to be able to get into some of the alpha and beta testing um, and they are in development as we speak um, it's developed by Soda Den and uh, published by Crytivo and you can check out their discords and their social media and all that stuff they're they're very active and prevalent on things um, they have a great community doing some of the testing and, and then of course developing as well uh it's a really good atmosphere um and they they're coming out with all sorts of exciting stuff uh so this game basically it takes place in like prehistoric time and think about it as kind of a stardew valley slash harvest moon kind of idea but in prehistoric times um with its own unique art style but the the gameplay is kind of similar and some of the mechanics and some of the you know you're gonna craft you're gonna um grow crops and harvest you're gonna go uh, gather resources and cook and do some things like that but there's a very strong element of community uh in the game that that's a big part of things is helping the community and doing interacting with the game community and stuff um in the game you know the npc community and stuff um and also there's a sort of a mystical folklore kind of backstory to to the game so um Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start jumping into this. Um, inspired by humanity, this game is a work of fiction designed to evoke the feeling of human prehistory and spark your curiosity in this hypothetical setting. The depictions in this game are not intended to represent any specific culture, geography, or time period. And they don't. They kind of represent everything but nothing at the same time, you know? Um, also, yeah, love the music. Love the soundtrack. So, Roots of Pacha is going to be released in 2022. Um, it is currently on Steam for you to wishlist, if you'd like. I certainly recommend wishlisting it and following it so that you get all the updates. Uh, as I said, it's in alpha access right now. I think they're going to be moving to beta probably early next year and then uh, full release it at some point. I don't know exactly when. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will get on going we'll, we'll start a new game like I said I've played some before so I do have some uh, games that we could load but we'll do a new one and yes as you can see there was online and there's cooperative so that is going to be I'm not sure if it's functioning yet I think so um, but that there's a big element of cooperative play in this game they're really pushing that which I like um, they're pushing it in a good way you know all right so we're just going to randomize. I don't really care what. Uh, we'll just hit it a few times and stop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look like a Powerpuff Girl or maybe something from Sailor Moon. I don't know. Uh, but that's fine. What? Oh, right. I guess we can't start until we name ourselves, right? Okay. There we go. Alright, so we're sleeping, obviously. <laughs> Good morning, Sensi. Good morning, Mary. I woke up today thinking about Pacha, our mother nature. She has told us it is time to build our village. It's a strange concept, but with time I'm sure we'll understand. Now that winter is over, what do you want to do today? Oh, let's see. We can go outside the camp, see what I can find. I want to talk to the clan and find out how I can help. Just want to plant something and I would like to relax. Um, so planting's fairly straightforward. Let's go to talk to the clan and find out how we can help because it's such a, a strong 
uh, theme to the game. You've always been a helper. Remember that this clan is so strong because we've learned to cooperate. All you collect and harvest can be turned into a contribution for our clan. You can put what you want to contribute in the large vessel outside the central building. I'll rest some more now. Outside is this new land waiting for you. Be safe, my child. Indeed. And so you see we start with three tomato seeds. Um, what do you have there? I have to remember the controls, kind of. <laughs> um, so you have, uh, you have your one and two slots here and then obviously you can hop bar these things the other numbers uh three through zero but one and two are kind of your um they have extended inventory so this is like your seeds and you hit middle mouse button to open this up um and then if i switch over to two now we have our, our utensils our hand tool, held tools so we have a hand axe and a water skin to start um and again middle mouse button to open that Let's see what you have to say. I've been thinking about Kuro. He always rises from the mountains and goes to sleep on the other side. So I think Kuro is maybe the, the name of uh, the sun or possibly the moon. She looks like a kind of a moon character here. We can honor him by tracking his shadow every day. I know there's a power hidden in doing that, so I'm going to say sun. Kuro, so consistent every day, he can lend us a special power. Okay, wow, already trying to get me on research with the sundial. Okay. So um, this is, I don't remember exactly the name, but basically rep. Um, so you, the more that you contribute to the, in that community bin, um, the higher the rep you get and, and you get rep points instead of like currency, basically. Um, and then we'll need 50 stone and we'll, we'll have to see maybe later because obviously we don't have that and it'll take three days. So again, like I said, there's a very strong community element in this game. So you can um, interact with your community members and some of these people, you will, as you see there, discuss ideas with them and that will help you progress certain things and you can choose to do them or not. It's a super chill game. Like there's no rush. Um, there are seasons and stuff, but um, as you can see, it's spring year one, but it doesn't feel I don't know. I you don't feel pressed to do things and stuff like Stardew Valley's chill and all, but I feel pressed. I started getting a farm going and I feel pressed. Make more money. Make you know get get things done before winter. You know, and this game it's just very, very relaxing. Play at your own pace. Um, do things you want or don't want to. Uh, so Igor, we're gonna discuss some ideas with him. We need something to fill our water skins faster if we're to grow food for the whole clan. I put my ear to the ground and listen to the flow of water. The river is not always close, Egrok said. Egrok. Egrok, yeah. Okay, said <laughs> he put his ear to the ground and heard the melody of water. So again, we'll have to say maybe later. Because obviously we don't have anything yet. But um, this water skin is its solely for, um, for crops and for gardening. You don't have to worry about food or thirst in this game you know it's not a survival game um i really like what they did with the art style because it's a combination of that sort of pixelated um like 16-bit style kind of stardew but then there's this smooth integration too of like nice stuff you know it's a really cool blend um and even some of the things that like this rock i mean it's pixelated but it's like not i don't know they did i really love the art that they did um so we'll also there was something in our journal so let's see i don't know i guess there wasn't I thought there was. So you have journal, you have your map, um, which shows all the villagers, and everybody's friendly. There's no, there's no fighting things. Um, again, it's a big, big focus on nature and big focus on community in this game. Um, then we have our inventory here, and then you know our things that we've discovered so far, um, and they'll show you, you know, like the seeds. They'll show you the uh, growing seasons and stuff. Our tools. And then this is our crafting menu of things that we can craft. So dirt floors, uh, fermenter, makes things bubbly and smelly. <laughs> Mortar and pestle, uh, oven, a press, a smoker, a solar dryer, a stone box. And yeah, sorry, I, I kind of glanced over those just kind of quick. Oh, there we go. There's our journal talking about these uh, things. You can see everybody. And I'm kind of going through stuff quickly you can feel free to pause at any time or go back and check out these things um you know if you want to really read this stuff um and then there's oh well, yeah there's the tips and the help and stuff I'm not worried about that the music's fine controls yeah okay all that fun stuff all right so we'll kind of 
go along, I'll just show you some of the mechanics here. So you start with your little stone hand tool. Um, you can't do much with it. Uh, as you see, we do have a stamina bar, so you can craft uh, foods and you can eat, and that'll just replenish that very much like those other um, games that I mentioned before. So similar in that mechanic, so, you know, some somewhat similar looking art styles to a point. Um, but really, when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be maybe too much like the other games. Um, whoops. And I do that all the time. I accidentally hit too many times and start tilling the earth. Um, so, but I, you know, I thought it was almost looked too much like the other ones. And it was going to be really similar. And it just, it is not. It is totally its own game. I am in love with this game and can't wait till it's full release um, because there's so much lore and story and stuff that, go, that they put into it. Um, it's really cool. Just an incredible concept. Um, I just really love it. It's just a feel good game, you know, which is cool. And you can, of course, talk to everybody. Worry about my stepbrothers. What if something happens to them? I, yeah, that would be bad. I don't know who they are, but. And then you can, as you can see, interact too. So you can talk, you can dance with people. No, you don't want to dance? Okay. Have you been to the savannah? Or do you can find mammoths there? Um, mammoths in the savannah, huh? Maybe. I, I don't know about that. Uh, we'll fill up our water skin here. At the, there you can see the blue filled that up. Uh, we can pick up some seashells. And you can interact with pretty much everything. You know, you can chop these trees down if you want, which I'm not going to because I like them. I think you can, no, you can't chop those. But um, all these rocks we can do and stuff. Um, you'll find various wild plants growing too. Um, so all this area is basically fertile to a point. Um, you'll have to till it to plant the seeds. Well, well, I'll, actually I'll show you real quick since we have tomato seeds, right? Um, so we'll do a little... We'll just do our three little tomato seed spots here. There we go. So we'll plant it. And you will want to water these every day. I think they start watered though, right? Oh no. Couldn't remember. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I played. Uh, oh, there we go. Pick. Yeah, so you'll find wild things like this. So oregano, you know, we just discovered a new, new wild plant. An herb as it is. Uh, you know, you have our friends here. Doing Tai Chi maybe, or sparring? I'm not sure. Nothing's better than being outside with a spear in your hand. I guess they're doing some sparring, kind of. Come train with Grob and me sometime. Having good reflexes helps when exploring. Yeah, I'd love to. Are you heading outside the land today? Make sure you eat something first or you'll have no energy. And so, um, outside the land, they're, they're talking about over here. And I think this is going to open up eventually. All the, Well, you can see the locked symbols. They're going to expand the map, like, massively. Uh, but you can go out this way and it'll go to, well, well, I won't tell you where it goes. We'll, we'll go there. <laughs> we'll, we'll see um, later on. So we'll just kind of go around and meet everybody today. Train hard, keep track of everyone in the clan. Plan, repeat. That's what makes my dad a great chief. All right, so there's chief's daughter there. I just want to kind of, like I said, show you around. Um, so this is, yeah, we can expand the village. Um, so they're gonna they have a lot of plans like I said for it, it's really cool and I really appreciate that they um, released kind of a, a, a compact version if you will I mean I wouldn't call it an incomplete version because it's not complete as opposed to like the whole game but it's so it's totally complete like it feels like a complete game that you're playing you know it's not missing any mechanics or any art or anything there's a few limitations but I really appreciate that they uh, did that like there what I'm not sure if they've updated oh they have you can you can enter some people's caves now you used to not be able to enter uh, people's huts so we'll explore that in a little bit and play around with that Are you headed oh right we already talked about that didn't we <laughs> oh there we go so that's that's what they all used to pop up with and they have you know they're kind of cheeky about it they do it in jest with that like it's you know it appears to be too dark inside as a as in not yet finished well it's an alpha after all you know so they they know and we know and that's okay we don't expect the full game obviously right because it's 
Uh, have you ever seen a mammoth? They're gigantic creatures and so strong even cave lions think twice before hunting them. Ooh. Someone has always has to watch a fire, so I'd never go far. Yep, and so that's there's our community center, you know, with um, our, our big fire for protection, for warmth, for everything, you know. Well, some more oregano, it looks like. There we go. And some mushrooms. Excellent. And you see, instead of a time, which I never really thought about until right now, um, it's kind of cool that they did this because it's, you know, prehistoric era. And so it's just evening or afternoon, you know, it's not really, there's no specific time. It's just uh, a, a general time of day. And so you'll find, you know, plants like this. We got harvest these tomatoes. We get some seeds out of them and some tomatoes. Uh, well, you know, we'll chop down a tree or two down here just because. Um, it def definitely takes, oops, I guess you can't chop it with the water skin, can we? You know, it takes a good amount of stamina uh, to start, and I, I like that, the balancing of it. Um, I really like it. It starts out, you know, grindy, kind of to a point where chopping, I mean, look how much stamina it's taking just to chop down one tree, and you'll see, we don't get a whole lot. You get six wood, you know? I mean, compared to, like, starting, that's nothing. So we'll gather up a little bit more wood. Um, and then we will we'll drop some stuff off at the community box just to kind of show you the process for that. And it is, again, you don't get coins or anything um, or any monetary unit, but it is currency in the sense of the game. That's what you use for currency um, many times and what you need to do to unlock things and such. Um, and then you have things like down here, she's a tool builder. Um, she does, or he maybe, I don't remember what is here. Um, something art, something customizing things maybe. I don't remember. We'll find out. We'll go and see. But first, let's drop a few things off. Uh, oops, interact and contribute. Oops, and that I always uh, mess that up. I accidentally right click a lot of times <laughs> and, it, and it exits you out of the menus. So we'll just here, we'll just do a few things. We'll hold on to some of this stuff and we'll build a chest for ourselves. Um, I'm actually going to save the wood. I'll, I'll donate the seashell. You can hear the sea if you put it to your ear. Oregano looks like a simple leaf, but its delicious aroma is not to be missed. And wild tomato. It's a fruit, but it's used as a vegetable. Just add a bit of salt and it's done. Yeah, that strange fruit vegetable thing, right? <laughs> so there we are. We've contributed some. You see this nighttime. Um, you will, uh, if it gets too late, you will pass out and you'll wake up at home and it'll, you know, not be good for your stamina and stuff. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly. Now that I say that, I'm not positive, but I, I'm pretty sure. So we'll sleep. And as you see, we got um, 5 and 5 and 12. So now we have 22, uh, whatever, renown or, you know, whatever you want to call it. I don't recall what they use as the terminology for it. But we'll come here, we'll water our tomato plants. Uh, and then we will get some more wood because I think we're going to need some more in order to craft our uh, uh, box, which is, oh wait, oh, stone box, there we go. Oh, I was thinking it was a wooden chest, but yeah, stone box, so, uh, you know, as always in these games, at least for me, um, yeah, containers are just absolutely necessary. <laughs> storage, 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 storage. Because <laughs> I tend to hoard things in this kind of a game. So we actually need some more stone uh, rather than more wood. We have plenty of wood for now. So we'll get a few stone. And it's just, like I said, it's just such a chill game. Like, I don't know. I feel, especially after playing a few times, like Stardew Valley, like I feel pressured the first day, like, to clear out the whole, you know, my whole area and get things planted. And it's like, I don't know. I just don't just doesn't feel that way with this one maybe some of it's the music maybe it's just the idea that it's like prehistory so it just doesn't matter like I don't know I don't know what it is maybe it's just my own mental thing but
and you can also, uh, as you can see, you can kind of go in a square around you as far as uh, like hit markers. So you can stay in one spot and harvest a few things around you or, or whatever, you know, attack, whatever you want to call it. So let's see, do we now have, um, yeah, all right, we'll make one, one stone box. There it is. So we'll go ahead and put that down and we'll put it, uh, we'll put it out here next to our, oh, oh, that's right, you have to place it. Is that right? You have to play it. Wait, why is it not placing it anywhere? I thought you, you might have to place it on this here, but there we go. Okay, that's why. So yeah, you have to place it on this soil stuff or whatever, you know, this type of ground. harvest a little bit more stuff, use up our our stamina, and then we'll go talk to some more people again. And that's a very big part of this game, like I said, it's interacting with the community and doing things, uh, talking with people. They'll, you know, sometimes they'll come up to you with uh, the ideas and stuff, and you can, and that's equivalent to researching technologies in a lot of other games, um, which I really like their take on it, you know, it's, they did a cool sort of I want to see a twist on that but it's not even a twist it's its own kind of yeah I don't know if you notice the smell of the soil it's so earthy yeah it's good soil good stuff oh yeah and they do have some uh Actually, they occasionally do have diverse dialogue, and I'm sure that's not gonna. I'm sure that will be even more diverse in the final release. Um, so you see, these aren't quite ready yet. They're uh, some tomato plants. And we have like we have fish out there drying. Where's the tool? Oh, there she is. And I forgot, like I said, what this one is. I thought they would be there today. Maybe not. So you have vendors, you know. Snow has finally melted, so we can explore this land. Hopefully, we'll find ore and maybe some good flint. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I need to, uh, yeah, you saw there. Her dialogue was different that time, so they do. They do, uh, different dialogues. And so you see, yeah, you can. Well. Yeah, there's no tool I haven't mastered. Just bring me the resources and I'll make you one. So you have your flint axe, your flint hammer. Um then basic hand axe and water skin and uh your at least your hand axe and i think any tools that you and of course what great game doesn't have poo right i mean psh, you gotta have poo in the game <laughs> um especially if you're farming and stuff right uh but the uh, tools I believe even the ones you craft, and again, it's been a little bit since I've played, but if I'm remembering correctly, there's no durability on them, so they just keep on going, which is excellent. Glad winter has passed. My bones aren't as strong as they used to be. Well, at least I know when rain is close. Yeah, that's handy. It's a good way of looking at it. So we'll start to clear out some of this stuff. Nope, not where I meant to go. There we go. And as in, you know, all those other similar games, or previous games, I should say, nothing's really similar to this one, so. Um, as in the, you know, previously released games that this maybe takes some inspiration from. You're gonna need a lot of fiber, um, you know, wood, stone, that's your basic crafting stuff. Um, as always, and then you will be able to go and, and get some, you know, as, uh, what's her name said there earlier, I forgot her name, I don't, I'm not good with people's names in this game for some reason, um, but as our friend there, down there said, you know, we'll find some flint and some ore and we'll get going. So our stamina is almost gone, it's early afternoon, kinda, so let's go ahead and kinda take a walk around, show you some other things. And 
and I really like the balance of like if you hear there's birds and stuff in the background they're just nice nice peaceful sounds and this music is just it's got this I mean this flute that goes on and it just I don't know it never feels boring and overdone I don't know it's just like something you just jam to all the time you know maybe jam isn't quite the right word but Let's go ahead. Oh, that's not the right spot. It's down here. We'll cut across uh, just to show you real quick. Kind of the when they say when you leave, whatever they say, leave the area or whatever. Hey, what are you up to? Do you feel it? There's something that's pulling us downward. I'm trying to jump as high as I can, but I always fall back to the ground. See, and I love stuff like that. You want to dance? Oh, nobody wants to dance yet. I, we're not friends enough. Maybe I'm coming on a little strong. <laughs> so uh, when you leave the area, you go out here and there's many resources for you to find. There's of course trees and stuff. You know, this, this gal was out. Jisoo was out. It's nice to have so many resources nearby. Everything is just easier here. So she was out gathering some resources. Um, you can, let's see if, I believe you can just knock into the trees. Oh no, the only certain ones. Um, so some trees will have like pine cones on them, and then you'll come across stuff like this. What do we find here? <gasps> New plant is covered. Some garlic. Look at that. So we can use that for cooking. We can plant some of that to expand our farming abilities. Look at this. A red mushroom. <gasps> you have friendly animals and stuff. They don't. They don't want to talk. But look, new idea. Talk to Akka. Find out more. And can we interact? Oh yeah, we just we can inspect them, so we can see. You know, this was a female adult ibex. Ibex or ebex? I'm not sure of the correct pronunciation of that. I say ibex. Doesn't mean it's correct though. It's correct for me, I guess, because that's what I say, right? So <laughs> as long as you know what somebody's talking about, right? So I'm not going to go all the way where this goes, but oh, here we go. This should give us some, uh, oh no, those aren't quite ready. So you can harvest things off the trees, like acorns and such. And Oh, look at this. What else? Ah, carrots. Wild carrots. New plant discovered. Look at all the seeds we're getting. So we'll just go right here for now. We'll, we'll go back now, since our inventory is pretty much full anyways. We'll go back, maybe plant a few of these new seeds that we got. Um, I think that would be a good idea. And one other cool thing I like about this game is it's all, like auto sprint, auto run kind of thing. And then you can hit shift and just walk. You can just stroll along if you want. I mean, look how calm and peaceful and just enjoyable that is, right? How cool. Alright, so real quick too, actually I'll show you, uh, you can do fishing, and fishing is interesting, it took me a little bit to get used to this, so I was just trying to go to the fish and like get them, right, but you have to be careful of making, see the, the puddles, because you're scaring the fish, and actually since I've played it last even, they've changed this animation and stuff, um, so you have to be careful not to move too quickly and cause puddles, and then you have to kind of sit here and hover over the fish and you see those bars that are filling up as you discovering discovering about the fish and you have to basically discover it and identify it before you can harvest it see if i try there it just runs away and actually they've made fishing a little bit more difficult actually even wow Yeah, so you have to fill this bar up, basically. So you have to hover over it, and you'll, you'll end up identifying. See, and I moved too quick. Okay, we probably won't do much fishing today now that I do this. So you just got to go real slow and calm. And now you'll see it'll... Oh. Don't want to scare it. So we've almost identified it. I believe there should be one more, maybe? I'm not sure. Or now we can, yeah, okay. So we might be able to try and fish it now that, there we go, now that that's full. 
And of course we uh, don't have the inventory room for it, so. Um, yeah, no description needed there. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll discard that just for now so we can pick up this fish. And we got a porcupine. Equip with large spines to defend itself, okay. So we'll go ahead and donate a little bit more, just uh, if we can spare a few things. Let's see, what do we... Yeah, we'll do one mushroom and two carrots. Oh, yep, both of them. Yep, there we go. Because <laughs> um, we'll try and save some of this stuff because we'll end up... Uh, we'll end up cooking and stuff and doing some things. It's nice to have a few on hand. Oh, and then there we go. Oh. Actually, let's go uh, drop some things off in our box and then we'll come back for that real quick. If I can remember where it's at. And we should be right up here. Am I going too far? I'm getting lost because it's nighttime. Oh, is this ours? There we go. Oh, we were right next to it. Silly me. Alright. So, real quick, we'll drop. Let's see, I always do that. I thought there was a quick transfer. Maybe not. Uh, we'll drop these off. And then we'll harvest that other thing real quick. And go show you. So, some of these. Oh, these two are ready. Okay, so. What do we have here? <gasps> Wheat. Yes. Oh, it's not? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you are just aimed on the wrong one. There we go. So as you see, we've discovered all these seeds now. We have wheat now. We have a few, uh, and again, uh, you don't have to cook. You don't have to drink, eat and drink. Cooking just helps with your stamina. Um, so it'll, you know, increase if you want to recharge your energy to go do more things. But as you can see now, we have tomato seeds, we have garlic seeds, carrot seeds, and wheat seeds. So tomorrow, We'll dig a few holes and we will expand our planting. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do it right now. Let's do a few. So what do we have? We can put three wheat and then we'll do, well, we'll just do everything. We'll just do all the, all the uh, seeds we have if we can. We'll at least do these ones. How about that? we're going to be running out of energy otherwise possibly actually I think we'll be all right yeah cutting it close but uh, one nice thing too if I remember correctly when you run out of stamina um, nothing bad happens it just tells you you can't do anything anymore. You don't uh, faint or anything, you know. It just says, nope, you can't do stuff anymore. And this is using a little bit, so we might not quite make it. But, oh, see, it was too late. <laughs> All right, so we got most of our stuff planted. We didn't water everything last night, but that's okay. Um, we'll get it watered in the morning. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode for now. Like I said, I want to keep these ones a little bit shorter, a little bit, um, more, more manageable and easier to watch kind of. Um, and so this will definitely be a series though. This is just the start of it. Uh, so we are done now with our two, our first two days of spring in year one, um, for Roots of Pacha, the first look at the alpha access. Um, so thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, I look forward to making more of these and, and continuing on in this game. I really look forward to their full release. It's going to be an incredible game. It already is. Uh, so anyways, if you liked uh, what you saw, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing, uh, which you should have already done. I think I asked you at the beginning to do that, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> if you want to see more Roots of Pacha action and some other games too, please subscribe and turn on that notification icon uh turn it to all so that you are notified whenever i put something out or whenever what i'm up to you'll you will know all right well thanks again everybody and uh take care i will see you uh on day three of spring in episode two of roots of pacha all right
See you later.